Hey you guys, good morning. Um, kind of a bummer day today. I'm just on the phone with some family members. The dad's real sick. Uh, he lives nearby though, up in Boulder. But he hadn't been feeling good for a long time. He's got cancer. What are you gonna do? We're just gonna have to wait and see. So um, anyway, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about this. Um, I read about this last week and um, surprisingly, I didn't really see anything on YouTube or anywhere else about it since, but this um, attack, this uh, cyber attack on um, Iran is basically the, the target that's been affected, and namely the, the Bashir nuclear reactor. But overall in the world, there's been 45,000 um, system, you know, computer system, infections by this and it's called this uh stuxnet stuxnet compute uh it's a malware uh worm type of thing uh you know they're saying ever since they discovered they discovered it in july and you know the tall the top uh you know computer code people in the world are saying man this thing is just it's unbelievable it has to have been invented by a state you know had to have been invented by a state uh, uh a government and um, now there's not even speculation, but pretty much 100% sure that it was Israel that invented this. And uh, its main target, of course, has been the this reactor. And um, you know the way it gets in there, it can be just by a uh, infected um, uh, infected you know computer stick. Anybody could just bring one in. And surprisingly enough, this reactor in Iran uses. You know, Windows 95. I don't know. I figured they'd come up with something better than that. But it shows, you know, with everybody today, you know, arguing about this. Uh, oh, yeah, the military is going to do this and they're going to take this over and then there'll be military action here. Heck, now all they're doing is inventing these you know, super high, highly sophisticated computer viruses to do the work of anything that a military used to be. Uh, able to do and uh, militaries are kind of obsolete now I mean if you can just send in computer codes to uh, to wipe out entire you know systems of how what, what would it do in America here you know if there was a computer bug that just went out and all our power plants or something they say that's what this computer virus will do it'll go in and it's basically non-detectable until it does something and it can do things on its own you know, for instance, in a nuclear reactor, it'll take out your RPM limiters. It'll just it'll just override them. So in the middle of the night or whatever, all of a sudden your turbines just, you know, blow up. Or whatever else, you know, cooling water systems or anything. Any, whatever it's designed for. So um, I got a couple of uh, links to it here. And uh, I figured I'd title this something that got the attention of everybody, even though even though it might be, you know, I'll call it, a, you know, Israel attacks Iran, you know, with uh, you know, with uh, the dead Fu-7 missile, secret missile. This is basically the same thing, though. You see what I'm saying? Now, um, you know, yesterday somebody sent me a message. Said, oh, hey, man, well, well, what are you doing talking about this? Uh, they're act activating this um, you know, 28th regiment or whatever the hell it was I said I don't have no idea what you're talking about I didn't even hear about it oh yeah oh well I thought you so I didn't say anything about it geez people putting words in your mouth around here I had no idea about it until you know nine o'clock this morning and somebody sent me a message about it saying oh well oh you see you jumped on this and you spread the rules I didn't do anything I absolutely didn't didn't even know about any um, activation of some of, of some troops and by the way anybody who knows me says you know I, you know what I think about this whole thing about a military deploying if these guys were to, to deploy where would they deploy to you know 5,000 guys what would they do try and secure what uh, Manhattan Island oh, but it's nothing 5,000 troops with 5,000 troops you're not gonna be able to secure one major US city you know, so, you know, people can chill out about the, you know, troop deployments and all this stuff, nonsense. Um, 
anyway, I'm just going to keep this short and upload it and include you these links to look at. It's pretty interesting stuff and let's see what's actually going on out there. You know, any, you know, Israel developing these, you know, computer viruses that take out, you know, countries, major systems and all this. It's crazy. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.